I'm Gilmora. I'm Bridget from the Black Town. And where are we? We are at the Curzon to see Maxi. I'm super excited about this. There's a queue up front, so let's go and join it. Let's go and get in the queue. We have just got in. And we've had some photos, and downstairs is super cool, so we're going to have to video go downstairs. We are going to do Looks nice. So this is the end to the downstairs bar and it is so loud in here. So we're probably not gonna be able to feel much down here. It's super loud. Screening now. All right. Thank you all for coming out. Uh, this is very cool for me to uh, be on the other side of three movies now, and um, to get to be somewhere very far from where I live to have uh, people show up is always a, a relieving and satisfying feeling. So thank you guys for coming out. How many people have seen the other two movies? Woo! Okay. Yeah. How many have not seen the other two movies? Woo! You'll be all right. You'll be able to, you'll be able to follow along. You might, there might be some jokes you missed, but otherwise you'll be able to, you'll be able to track it. Um, yeah, it's been a wild few years. Um, uh, thank you to Universal for, uh, for doing this tonight. It's very cool to come in and see all that stuff out there. And um, I hope you liked this movie, and I hope that uh, it's a strange thing to make three movies when you're not expecting to do it. And uh, it's been such a crazy ride for Mia and I. And uh, this is a very different movie than the other ones, um, but it's really meant to be a big, fun, summer theatrical experience. So the fact that you're all here, it's the kind of movie that, you know, laugh with, scream with, grab the person next to you, cheer if you feel so inclined. Um, because really it is, uh, it's been a, 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 a pretty unique journey to make all these three movies and to, to see different sides of all these characters. And so... Um, Hopefully, you have a good time tonight. And do me a favor and don't spoil it because you're seeing it before anyone else in the UK. So uh, try to keep what happens in the movie between us because there's a lot of moments that I think will be fun for you to see tonight and hopefully other people can have that same experience. And um, yeah, thanks so much. Hello, everyone. Hello. We're back and exhausted. <laughs> yeah back and exhausted so this is the next day yeah and i don't think i'm hungover i think i've just spent too much time in london to be honest yeah because uh that's usually what happens yeah we always come back a bit sick however sick of london <laughs> i love it film um, was great there however so good anyway before we talk about the film before we talk let's about talk film. about the extra bit so um these were all over the walls and on the back, it's got um, her information. Might be a bit bright, but you can probably see Yeah. Um, I stole it. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. But it's very cool. And um, as I was walking out of the bathroom, nobody was looking. So I stole one for me and Jade has the other one. I can't believe you're just ratting on Jade as well. Oh, yeah. Well, I've got to tell her that so, I stole them both. I just gave one to her. Oh. Robin Hood. Um, yeah, because I, I thought it was something I didn't know it's front and back sort of situation. So yeah, that's very cool. But because of those photos, they had a photo op well, where you we can do our own headshot. Your own little headshot. Done. See, I absolutely hate mine because uh, this guy didn't tell me that I was shiny. Listen, I don't know about that. It was dark. It was loud. There was loads of people, and I wasn't like, oh, your head's shiny. Uh, yeah. Mine's fine. Look, I'm going to make this my Instagram photo. It's a great photo. <laughs> That's what annoys me. Like, man, if it wasn't shiny, it would be great. But there was me walking around the, the venue having a great time, sweating my alcohol out of my body, it and it was, was visible on it my was face. It was art in there, though. Proper yeah. art. 
but it was a very very cool cinema they've done it up to look like a it occurs in, in Soho. yeah they've done the whole thing up to look like a triple x situation as you'll have seen in the video as you'll have seen in the video um that was very cool and then when we got to our seats there was very very cool popcorn holders so we brought back one of those as well and an apple and then I, yeah, I didn't bring the apple box back. It just had a sticker on the box. I opened it, and my my new teeth can't I think, handle apples. I think the so. best bit about the apple was that every single person was like, "Oh, what? Oh, it's an apple!" <laughs> <laughs> and I was just loving it because everyone thought it was like a cake or something, yeah, and it was or an a apple. cookie, and everyone was like, "Oh." I've never seen so many people so pissed off to see an apple in their life. It was fucking but hilarious. It, it may or may not have had relevance, so... Yeah, apparently so. Moving on. Film was good, though. Film was so good. I loved it. I think it's my second favourite of the three. Really? Yeah. I still think X is the best. Yeah, I loved X. But then that one, then Pearl. Pearl's a great film as well, mm. but it's just it's not my kind of film but it's still good but this one's really good had a proper like I, 80s aesthetic to it yeah i actually think that's this could be my favorite of the three. Oh, it's close with x for me because i enjoyed it so much i loved what they done with the characters mm. i feel like i want to come back and talk about this when another time when everyone's seen it because i want to have that conversation about right this person, this person, this person happened, mm. this happened to this, and this happened to that, and that's what I want to do. But as a generalisation, I loved the movie. Um, mm. Yeah, it was really good. The aesthetic was really cool. Some bits reminded me of Drive, like the way it was mm -hmm. filmed. Yeah. The soundtrack was good. Some great nods. Yeah. Um, there was a... The soundtrack was phenomenal, There actually. was a once upon a time in Hollywood kind of feel to it mm -hmm. as well. There was there yeah, there was an element of that in there that was really cool. Still maintained that like you're making me seasick. Schlocky seventies eighties kind of horror though, wasn't there? It yeah, yeah. It still like it. it still had that, and it it's not a gore fest. No, but no. A couple they... of people were saying there, weren't they, that they wanted a bit more from the kills and stuff. But I understand why people are saying that. I don't understand. But why. with with what I was saying about yeah, it, don't say it. And and relevance and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, spot on, hundred percent spot on. I could not have, a, have appreciated it and enjoyed it any more than I did. I don't but see why. I left that film that. being like ten out of ten. Yeah. Well, I don't know if it was a ten. Oh, out of 10 for me, I, I just loved it that much. Ty West was there as well as you'd have seen just yeah, before yeah. this. That was, that was very cool. cool. Yeah. Yeah. It felt different to the other two as well. That I think that's what I appreciated the most with these three films. They don't just feel like another one of the same thing. Yeah. They're all different, but they're all within the same world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, they, they are really good. I just thoroughly enjoyed it, and I want more. I did think this one <laughs> led... It ended leading on to a possibility of another one. Yeah, I know, but I don't, I don't think it should. Hmm... I'm very much I'm very much one of these people that sometimes you just need to let stuff die. Like that was a good three films. Just let's just go no. and make something else good. I disagree strongly. Ty West is really good at what he does, so he can do something else. Or or pick another character from X and do a film about that. Yeah, like yeah, maybe no, one I of the male pornography performers. Maybe do something about that or the cameraman or do you know do something else within the world but i think just like let's just let mia goth be done and <laughs> pick something I, else no, right now. I, I like what he's doing with her i, I just enjoy I think, I think she's a good actress everything. i just think in this three films mm. just let that be it now we'll see We'll see. We'll have to wait and see. I'll probably sure. be wrong because that's the world we live in now. Yeah, you're always wrong. Yeah, I'm always wrong. Um, I did, however, hmm. from seeing what I saw, called the ending. Oh, yeah. I knew... Where it was going. Where it was going, who it was going to be. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and I, did, I did call it, but I think that's because I've got like a sixth sense with these things. I tend to ruin everything for myself. I'm going to be honest, though. Huh? The entire film, uh -huh. favourite character, Kevin Bacon's character. Oh, 
Loved him. Absolutely loved his character. Mm -hmm. Yeah, me too. And uh, he needs to be like that in more films. Yeah, he was great. Because <laughs> he killed I'll give it that. To him. He was great. Yeah, I really enjoyed his character. Uh, so, yeah. Go and check it out. Yes, a uh, hundred and million percent recommend when, going and seeing when, this When film. is it out? The 5th of July, 5th of July. It? it is out on the 5th of July. July. Go watch it. Come back and tell us what you think. This Friday. Let us know when we can talk about it properly because I need to already. And if you've seen it, leave a comment below. Don't spoil anything. Yeah. But just what you... Did you enjoy it? Um, yeah, try and keep it spoiler free, at least for a, a while. Um, yeah, a couple of weeks. Give it a couple of weeks and we'll, um, we'll go at it. Hit the like button, subscribe, notification bell, all the usual things. Yep. You can go check out Patreon. You can go check out purehorror.co.uk uh, and go and check out Maxine this Friday. We'll see you next time. Bye.